He recently played Ollie Alexander's on-screen dad in the fantastic It's a Sin. Tonight, we're going to be seeing Sean Dooley alongside Catherine Kelly in a new series of Innocent. I want you to know that we are truly sorry, but there's still a killer out there, a very dangerous man or woman who needs to be put behind bars. And as someone who knew Matthew, it's likely that you'll have useful information. So what I wanted to ask you in person is if you'd be willing to help us in any way, we would be incredibly grateful. Well, Sean is with me now. I binged this yesterday a <laughs> lot. I just sat there, I kept saying, well, I'll, I'll watch one and then I'll watch the second one and then I had to watch until the end. It's great. I have to be really careful that I don't give too much away. I've not even seen the last two yet. Have you so not? No, no, I'm like, oh, you're, oh, what happened? You're very good in the first <laughs> two and in the first two as well. So basically, we saw in the first Innocent, I know a lot of people saw yeah. that, that obviously Catherine's uh, character is jailed for the murder of a 16-year-old boy. But in this, we know right away that she gets out and then the hunt continues for, for the real killer. Yeah, and what's brilliant about it, what's great about the writing and everything, is that everybody's um, potentially guilty. Mm. And there's just, you know, bombs dropped everywhere where you go, oh, it could be them, it could be them. And you're constantly kind of mm. flipping around on who did it, which is, you know, which is what we love, isn't it? Well, that's why I had to keep watch the whole thing. Yeah. That was why I had yeah. to do it. It's a, a lot of it is about loss, though, isn't it? Because, yeah. um, because Catherine's character, obviously, she has lost everything. You know, she lost her marriage, she lost her career, she lost her freedom, she's yeah. lost her mother. Her mother is still there, but not really. Um, and also, your character has experienced massive loss too. So they're, they're like two wee souls that come together. Yeah, it was always, a, for me, it was kind of a... Them connecting is kind of about time and yeah. the amount of time that she's lost whilst being in prison unlawfully and the amount of the kind of time he's lost now with his family going forward in a way so mm. but it is yeah it's definitely they're definitely connected they're very similar kind of people in a I way I know and you really during filming because obviously with all these restrictions and everything yeah. you didn't see your family as much as you would because normally they'd come with you wouldn't they yeah that we, we, we must have missed them well we were filming in, in Ireland so we had a whole summer holiday planned around because wherever wherever I film that's where my wife and my kids we go on holiday so the yeah. kids are like you've got a job where, where are you filming <laughs> their favorite places are Budapest and Leeds don't ask me why okay. Leeds, but anyway, there you go. Um, so they were really excited about that, and then obviously COVID hit, and then we kicked off in September as soon as you could start filming again. Went straight to Ireland, quarantined for two weeks on your own in a hotel room, uh, and then started filming, and you couldn't get back, you see, because if you went back, you had, even for a day, you've got a two-week quarantine again before you come back. So that was the hardest bit about filming this, is that I, I was away for two months, longest Ooh. period ever. Lots of Zoom calls, huh? Yeah, lots of Zoom calls. Lots sometimes that's even harder, though. It is, and sometimes... It's nice to see the wee face, but yeah. you can't, you know... And sometimes I'd say to my wife, I'd say, will you just leave it on so I can hear them, so I could just kind of sit there and be... Because it's the noise, isn't it? Yeah! It's, it's the noise of the... Yeah. Well, I've got four kids as well, so it's kind of... Very you know, easy. And <laughs> puppy and a cat. Um, so it's kind of like, it is a lot, it's the noise that you kind of miss, I think. Yeah, I'll bet you do. You have been in so many brilliant productions. Most recently, of course, we saw you in It's a Sin. Yeah. Not a particularly likeable character to start no. with. No, yeah. Um, but, of course, you've got your, your TV son, Ollie. But you're very, very proud Who of. I am so proud of and I know he's <laughs> Did my you TV see him boy. on the press with Elton brilliant. John? Wasn't he amazing? He was, he was absolutely amazing. And how also well, how can you sing and dance in those heels? I don't know. And rolling about. I mean, come I on. I don't know. That, it's that it's a phenomenon kind of phenomenon. He is. Earlier. The best thing about him is that he's a genuinely they all were, all the all the kids mm. on, on, on that cast and the adults, but it was He's a genuinely lovely human being and he, I, he deserves all the success and I, oh, I, I hope they all do, to be honest with you. It's, be, it's he blew been me a very away important drama as well because yeah. it's reminded us of a time yeah. and reminded us of how bad it's got and we can't go back there. Yeah. You know, we can't. Yeah. And also how treatment has just... You know, you take a pill and that's you. Yeah, Isn't that amazing? It's, amazing? it's absolutely incredible. Who would have thought that we would have got there? It's just brilliant. Now, not only hobnobbing with the likes of Ollie, who hobnobs with Elton John... <laughs> Taylor Swift played a joke on you. Tell me yes. about this. This is hilarious. I love did. this. We were doing the... Um, uh, my wife... Uh, me and my wife, Polly, uh, did a Children in Need album called Got It Covered. So we yep. put it together and we asked all our friends if they'd come in and do, um, do a song on the album to raise money for charity. And I wanted to do this Taylor Swift song because my kids... And I used to sing to my kids at bedtime, this particular song. And unbeknownst to me, whilst we were at Abbey Road, 
Polly had gone through several different ways and got hold of Taylor Swift's manager wow. and said, listen, would you be interested in doing this, blah, blah, blah. And she went, yeah, I'll come. I'll come to Abbey Road. So you had no All idea? Our own expert, everything sorted itself, security, wow. everything came, turned up. And the first I knew was when I saw her in the, uh, in the studio waving at me. I've, I've never been as petrified in my entire life. <laughs> And she was amazing. She was so... Gosh. And, it, and the thing is, as well, to do that, I mean, you know, she's arguably the biggest pop star on the planet. Oh, to absolutely. do that, And she purely did it because she thought it was a good thing to do and to help raise money. So that's really nice. It wasn't about profile. It was no, just no, no, purely no. she just thought that's a good thing to do. But did you I have mean, to sing a Taylor Swift song oh, while Taylor Swift uh, yes, was listening? Yes, yes. Oh, so my. the documentary was flipped around <laughs> a little bit. So she came in and was like, oh, 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 God. And I swore quite a lot, which obviously wasn't in the documentary. <laughs> then I went back through to the... Uh, to the boxy sound thing, whatever they call it. Um, and I was in there and she went, would you sing it for me? I haven't heard it. And I went, no, of course, <laughs> no, of course I won't. She went, please. And then Olivia said, please. And Phoebe Waller Bridge was there. She went, please, please. And my wife, kids, everyone's going. <laughs> so I went back through and I recorded my song while she was there watching. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> that sphincter nipping is this. Oh, say. just a bit. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> really we got, yeah, is. yeah. <laughs> Amazing, it really is. You've never stopped working though. You're one of these guys that just gets on with it and yeah. enhances everything that you do. Oh, it's it's you. um it's brilliant. You've had and are having a, a, a terrific career. Do you know where you're off to next? Have you any idea where I the kids job, are going on holiday? I got a job two days ago. <laughs> Did you? I can't tell you what it is, okay. but I'm really, really excited about it. Right. So it's my first kind of biggish film. Oh. And I've never done film, so I'm I'm equally really excited and Petrified at the same time, and no, the kids can't come. It's only a bit, do you know what I mean? But it's just matter, doesn't matter. I'm kind of like, oh, wow. How so yeah, cool. that was two days ago. So oh, I'm like, that's um, brilliant. Quite and I'm buzzing over that. I know. Right now, after you know, after we're talking, you're, you're heading north, aren't you? Yeah, it's Monday the seventeenth, which <laughs> means we're free. Um, and I'm jumping in the car. I'm driving up north to Barnsley to see my folks, hopefully my sisters, my best mate Sue, uh, and then I'm watching the Barnsley playoff first leg semi final. Actually, and there. I've got a ticket. You can go. 14 months. Wow. I've not seen a game, and I've managed to get a ticket. Oh. Me and my dad. I can't. I'm. I can't. I, I'm quite emotional about it. I bet you are. Because I don't know. I watched the FA Cup final and saw that, and I was a bit like, "Oh, this is just strange." We're so used to that kind of void. Yeah. And now I'm going to be. Oh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to it see will what be. it's It'll be like. Really grown men will sob. Grown men. I will sob. I sob at anything now. Eh? <laughs> The grown men will cry. It's so good to talk to you. It yeah, really is. Thank you, you. And to talk to you in person <laughs> yeah, is yeah. brilliant. And Innocent, of course, starts tonight, 9 o'clock on ITV. What it does, it continues tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. So that's appointment to view for sure. Thank you. Thanks for having so, us. So, so much. So you can watch that and you can watch the pact on the iPlayer whenever you like. Yeah. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.